three weeks had passed since my eventful and terrifying visit to the Joy of Creation House. The memory of that intense experience still lingered in the back of my mind, a constant reminder of the dangerous and creepy animatronics I had encountered. I reflected on my experience at the Joy of Creation House, and despite the initial terror it had caused, a sense of excitement and thrill washed over me. It was undeniably a unique and adrenaline-pumping experience, and I found myself thinking that, in a way, it was somewhat fun. As I thought back to my experience at the Joy of Creation House, the memories of fighting back against the ignited animatronics with my guns came to mind. The thrill of having the upper hand, even in a dangerous situation like that, gave me a sense of satisfaction and excitement. I admit, it was definitely more fun when I had my guns and was able to fight back against the fearsome animatronics. As I continued to reminisce about the joy of Creation House, the thought of the storm that hit while I was trying to escape crossed my mind. The recollection of the worsening conditions outside as I raced to get home brought a wave of gratitude for having made it back safely. Despite the intense weather, I had managed to navigate through it and return home unscathed thanks to a combination of quick thinking and determination. As I thought back to my drive home through the storm, a mix of emotions washed over me. The danger and fear were undeniable, but there was also a sense of thrill and excitement that made it feel like a scene from a movie. The treacherous conditions, the whipping rain and howling winds, and the adrenaline pumping through my veins all combined to create an experience that was both intense and oddly exhilarating. After reflecting on the storm drive, an idea popped into my mind, tornado chasing. Some weather scientists engaged in the dangerous and fascinating practice of chasing after and studying tornadoes, and I found myself curious about trying it out with my military vehicles. The thought of chasing after these natural phenomena with the power and capabilities of my military vehicles at my disposal was both thrilling and intriguing. I mentally committed to carrying out my plan this afternoon and decided to use my formidable Kras 260 military truck for the task. The sturdy and powerful vehicle, built for tough military operations, seemed like the perfect choice for chasing after tornadoes. With excitement and determination, I made the necessary preparations, readying both myself and the Craze 260 for the upcoming adventure. With the plan in motion, I ventured out to buy a tornado probe, inspired by the iconic Dorothy from the movie Twister that I had watched on DVD a few years ago. However, I opted for a different design and brand since I wanted something unique and modern. The Tornado Probe would be an essential tool for my tornado chasing adventure, providing vital information and data about the twisters I would be tracking and pursuing. I hopped into my military truck and headed out to the store, eager to purchase the Tornado Probe that would aid me in my upcoming tornado chasing adventure. The thought of acquiring the necessary equipment to safely and effectively pursue these natural phenomena fueled my determination and excitement as I navigated to the store. As I walked into the store, I made my way to the weather and outdoor equipment section, my eyes quickly scanning the shelves for the tornado probe I had in mind. After a brief search, I found the probe, its design and brand slightly different from the one in the movie, Twister but still resembling Dorothy in its function and purpose. I picked up the Tornado Probe admiring its design and the technology it possessed. The instrument had all the necessary features to measure and gather crucial information about the tornadoes I would be tracking. With the Tornado Probe in hand, I made my way to the cashier, ready to complete my purchase and bring my tornado chasing adventure one step closer to reality. After the payment was complete, I left the store, my heart racing with anticipation and excitement. I headed back to my military truck, the tornado probe securely tucked under my arm. I knew that this instrument would be crucial in my upcoming adventure, providing me with the information I needed to successfully pursue and study the formidable tornadoes. With my tornado probe safely in my possession, I reached my military truck and carefully placed it in the back. I secured it in place, making sure it would be protected and secure during the chase. As I shut the trunk, a wave of anticipation washed over me, my heart pounding with excitement and a hint of nervousness for the adventure that awaited me. I got into my military truck and started the engine. As the engine roared to life, I pulled out of the parking lot and began the drive back home, my thoughts still lingering on the exciting adventure awaiting me. 
The tornado probe was safely stowed away in the back, ready to be used in my pursuit of the mighty tornadoes. The anticipation and adrenaline coursing through my veins made the journey back home seem longer than usual, but I knew that the chase would soon begin. As I pulled into the driveway of my house, the familiar sight brought a sense of relief and comfort. I parked the military truck, the engine purring softly. As I got out, I took a moment to appreciate the peacefulness of the neighborhood, a stark contrast to the dangerous tornadoes I was about to chase after. I quickly popped the trunk of my trustworthy Kraz E-260 military truck and climbed inside to inspect the tornado probe. The probe's container was loaded with sensors, each one crucial for gathering the data I needed during the chase. I checked each sensor, ensuring they were in place and functioning correctly. Everything seemed in order, and a sense of reassurance washed over me, knowing that I had the necessary equipment to study and chase the powerful tornadoes with precision and accuracy. After inspecting the tornado probe, I climbed out of the trunk and headed inside the house. My stomach rumbling, I made myself a hearty chicken salad sandwich with a side of crispy fries and refreshing pickles for lunch. The satisfying meal provided me with the energy I needed for the upcoming tornado chase. With my stomach filled and my mind settled, I decided to take a moment to relax and watch a little bit of the movie Twister again. The iconic film fueled my excitement for the tornado-chasing adventure that lay ahead. The movie's portrayal of dangerous storms and the thrill of chasing them made me anticipate the adrenaline rush I would experience soon. As I watched the movie, I found myself enjoying it more than ever before. The characters, the intense scenes, and the portrayal of tornadoes and their destruction made it an exciting and captivating experience. My mind was engulfed in the world of Twister and my anticipation for the real-life chase grew with each passing minute of the film. As the clock struck 2 p.m., I realized it was finally time to embark on the tornado chase I had been preparing for. The excitement and anticipation surged through my veins as I mentally and physically prepared myself for the thrilling adventure that lay ahead. The tornado probe, securely loaded in my military truck, was ready to aid me in tracking and studying the powerful storms that I would soon pursue. Before heading out on the chase, I made sure to gather the necessary tools and equipment. In addition to the tornado probe, I grabbed the computer that would be used to display the radar readings and collect the data that the sensors would gather once sucked into a tornado. The computer would be crucial in tracking the tornadoes and gaining real-time information about their strength and path. With the computer in hand, I carefully placed it on the passenger side dashboard of my military truck. I made sure it was secure and within easy reach so I could access it quickly when I needed to review the radar readings and sensor data. The computer, along with the tornado probe, formed the essential tools that would help me successfully conduct the tornado chase. I got into the driver's seat of my military truck and fired up the engine. As the engine roared to life, I reached over to check the computer radar to determine if there were any severe storms in the area. I scanned the radar looking for any potential twisters that could be potential targets for my chase. In the distance, I spotted a promising storm cell, which could potentially produce a tornado worth pursuing. Excitement surged through me as I observed the radar, which indicated that there was a storm a few miles southwest of town, producing an EF-1 tornado. The data on the radar looked promising and I saw the opportunity to chase after a smaller but still potentially dangerous tornado. With the storm's location pinpointed on the radar, I knew it was time to hit the road and pursue the captivating twister. As I sat behind the wheel, I gave my military cap a quick adjustment, making sure it was properly in place. I checked my uniform, ensuring everything was neat and in order. With a sense of determination and excitement, I shifted the truck into gear and pulled out of the driveway, heading towards the southwest to embark on the thrilling chase of the EF-1 tornado on the radar. I navigated the military truck onto the southwest avenue, the engine purring softly as I accelerated. The road ahead stretched out before me, offering a path to the southwest in the storm that I was keen to chase. With a firm grip on the steering wheel and anticipation coursing through me, I continued onward, closing in on the target. 
After an hour of driving, I continued to make my way southwest, the drive feeling longer due to the distance I had to cover to reach the targeted storm. The anticipation grew with each passing mile, but I remained focused on the road, and the adrenaline began to pump through my veins in excited anticipation of the approaching chase. As I drove into the storm, the atmosphere changed drastically. The sky darkened, the wind picked up, and rain lashed against the windshield of my military truck. I felt a mix of adrenaline and excitement as I pushed through the storm, my mind set on reaching the target in the distance. The truck's powerful engine roared in the face of the fierce weather, continuing to press forward to the twister's location. As I drove deeper into the storm, the surroundings took on an eerie green hue, and intermittent flashes of lightning illuminated the dark sky. The truck's headlights struggled against the pouring rain and intense wind, but I pushed forward, intent on reaching the targeted tornado. The adrenaline pumped through my veins, mixing with a sense of awe and excitement at the sheer power of nature unfolding before me. As I continued to drive through the blinding rain and intense winds, I glanced over at the computer radar. There, I spotted the telltale swirl symbol, indicating the presence of a tornado to the west of the road I was on. The data provided by the computer confirmed that the storm was indeed producing a twister, and it was close by. My heart raced with excitement and anticipation, knowing that the chase was about to begin. As I finally exited the rain curtain, I quickly pulled over to the side of the road. With the engine idling, I looked around, scanning the horizon for any sign of the tornado. The dark and ominous storm clouds swirled overhead, and the rain continued to lash against the truck. The adrenaline coursed through my veins, knowing that the moment I had been preparing for was now at hand. As I surveyed the stormy landscape, my eyes soon caught a glimpse of a swirling tornado touching down in the distance. Without wasting a moment, I scooped up the camera and began capturing photos and videos of the incredible spectacle unfolding before me. The sight of the tornado forming and dancing across the ground was both awe-inspiring and terrifying, adding to the adrenaline rush that had my heart pounding in my chest. I kept the camera steadily aimed at the tornado, capturing every movement and detail as it swept across the field. The force of the twister was evident, kicking up clouds of dirt and shreds of grass as it tore through the ground. Clicking away on the camera, I tried to capture the sheer power and intensity of the storm as it continued its destructive path. As I continued filming the tornado's progression, a peculiar thought crossed my mind. The tornado, with its powerful swirling motion and ability to suck in objects, reminded me of a giant vacuum cleaner. It was as though a higher power like God was indeed using a cosmic vacuum to cleanse the field below. In my mind's eye, I couldn't help but conjure up a comical vision of God standing there, holding one end of a gigantic vacuum cleaner, and the tornado spinning at the other end of the hose. It was a bizarre and humorous image that added a touch of levity to the otherwise intense situation. I chuckled to myself, imagining God wielding the cosmic vacuum with an amused smile on his face, as the tornado continued its dance across the field. I continued filming for about 20 minutes, my camera capturing the entire spectacle of the tornado's life cycle. As the dust settled and the winds died down, I realized the twister had reached its end. The adrenaline started to fade, replaced by a sense of awe and gratitude for witnessing the incredible power and beauty of nature. With the tornado now gone, I climbed back into my trusty Krazy 260 military truck. I sat behind the wheel, taking a moment to collect my thoughts and catch my breath. The adrenaline rush from the chase had left me exhausted, but the experience had been exhilarating. The rush of the chase, the power of the tornado, and the memories captured on camera all swirled through my mind as I sat silently in the cab. With the adrenaline rush slowly fading, I reached for the wrapped chicken burrito I had packed before the chase. I carefully unwrapped the burrito and took a bite, savoring the flavors. It was my way of celebrating the successful chase and the incredible experience I had just endured. The hot, cheesy goodness of the burrito was a small token of recognition for the thrill of the chase that had pumped through my veins mere moments ago. After scarfing down the burrito and washing it down with a bottle of water, I leaned over to take another look at the radar. The screen showed the next potential storm cell in the distance, and I knew my chase wasn't over yet. The anticipation returned, and I put the truck in gear, 
ready to continue the pursuit of the next promising target. As I studied the radar, I noticed another storm cell on the screen, located a few miles west of my current position. The data indicated that this storm might produce another tornado. I felt a surge of excitement at the prospect of a new chase. Without missing a beat, I shifted the truck into gear and pointed the vehicle towards the west, continuing my journey to intercept the oncoming storm. The data on the computer showed an exciting upgrade for the next storm, indicating a potential for an EF3 tornado. The increased intensity level sent a thrill through me. I knew that chasing an EF3 would be even more challenging and dangerous, but the adrenaline junkie within me longed for the rush of the pursuit. With determination, I pushed the truck forward into the gathering storm, anticipating the powerful twister that was soon to emerge. The drive towards the western storm cell seemed almost endless. The road stretched out before me, and I anxiously glanced at the clock. Two hours into the drive, I grew concerned that I might not make it to the storm in time. I pushed the truck to its limits, trying to cover the distance as quickly as possible. The anticipation and worry churned in my stomach, hoping that I would reach the storm in time to witness and chase the potential EF3 tornado. Finally, after the prolonged drive, I entered the storm just in time. The sky darkened, and the wind and rain picked up once again. My heart raced, both from the excitement of being in the storm and the relief that I had made it in time. I gripped the steering wheel tighter, feeling the adrenaline surge through my veins as I prepared for the next phase of the chase. As I exited the rain curtain, I quickly pulled over to the side of the road and prepared my camera. The storm continued to rage around me, and I knew I had to be ready to capture any twister that might form. My fingers gripped the camera, anticipation flooding through me as I waited in the face of the tempest hoping to witness the birth of a tornado. As I surveyed the storm-ravaged landscape, I spotted a swirling vortex forming in a field to the north. The data on my radar confirmed that this was the anticipated EF3 tornado. My heart pounded in my chest as I raised the camera and began capturing footage of the mighty twister coming to life. With a ground-shaking impact, the tornado finally made touchdown, sending clouds of dirt and debris high into the air. The force of the storm surpassed the earlier EF-1, collecting more objects and churning up a much larger dirt cloud. I continued filming, trying to capture the sheer power of the EF-3 tornado as it wreaked havoc on the field. I continued to film the massive EF-3 tornado, capturing its every movement and the destruction it caused. The storm tore across the field, uprooting trees and flinging debris with an intensity that dwarfed the previous twister. The power of nature was on full display, and I couldn't look away, determined to document every moment of the awe-inspiring spectacle. My heart nearly stopped as I watched the tornado change its course, now heading straight for a nearby farm. The potential destruction it could cause to the property and livestock sent a chill down my spine. I continued filming, capturing the tornado's destructive path, while silently praying that the farmers and animals would remain safe from harm. Thankfully, as I zoomed in on the farm with my camera, I spotted the farmer and his family quickly making their way to the basement. Relief washed over me, knowing that they were taking the necessary precautions to shelter from the approaching danger. The tornado continued its relentless path, but at least I knew the people inside the farmhouse were out of harm's way for the moment. I watched in a mix of awe and worry as the tornado finally made contact with the farm, slamming into the barn with a deafening noise. However, the storm spared the farmhouse, narrowly avoiding the house and the farmer's family. The impact on the barn was substantial, further emphasizing the incredible power and destructive force of the EF-3 tornado. As the tornado mercilessly tore into the barn, pieces of the structure were ripped off and sent soaring through the air, becoming additional projectiles within the twister's vortex. The sight was both awe-inspiring and terrifying as the barn was reduced to a mangled mess, highlighting the sheer fury of the EF-3 tornado. I continued filming as the tornado moved away from the farm, carrying along remnants of the decimated barn. The scattered barn debris, now caught in the cyclone's grasp, spun and twisted within the vortex with an almost hypnotic movement. The destruction left in the tornado's wake was both mesmerizing and chilling, serving as a stark reminder of the immense power of nature. The tornado continued its path, crossing the road in front of me and then venturing into a cornfield. The sight was both fascinating and surreal as the storm seemed to consume the corn as if it were having a meal. The powerful winds ripped through the field, tearing up the crops and creating a whirlwind of destruction. I continued recording. 
recording this spectacle, amazed at how the storm seemed to devour its surroundings with such relentless energy. The tornado's strength seemed unstoppable as it effortlessly lifted a hefty tractor and launched it through the air. Alongside the tractor, the massive farm sprinkler was also tossed aside, the sheer force of the tornado showcasing its incredible power. I stood there, continuing to film in awe of the destruction caused by the storm. The image of the tractor flying and the sprinkler being tossed around would be forever etched in my memory. After witnessing the destructive path of the tornado, I climbed back into my military truck and shifted the vehicle onto the northbound road. I wanted to be ready to make a quick, quick getaway if the storm changed course and headed in my direction. The excitement of the chase was still coursing through me, but safety was the top priority. I kept my eyes peeled on the storm, ready to react if the situation required a rapid evacuation. With my camera still in hand, I continued to capture photos and footage of the colossal EF-3 tornado as it continued its erratic path. The sheer power of the storm mesmerized me and I couldn't tear my eyes away. Despite the danger, there was a sense of awe and reverence in witnessing such an extraordinary force of nature up close. I continued observing and filming the tornado for another hour and a half, knowing that larger tornadoes tend to last longer. As the clock approached 4.30 p.m., the colossal EF-3 slowly began to weaken before finally coming to a halt. The storm had dissipated, leaving behind a path of destruction in its wake. I took a deep breath, still reeling from the adrenaline rush and the awe-inspiring display of nature's power I had just witnessed. With the chase now over, I climbed back into the military truck and navigated to the computer. I carefully transferred the photos and footage from my camera onto the computer, eager to review the incredible moments I had captured. As the files uploaded, the memories of the thrilling chase and the breathtaking scenes of the tornado flooded my mind. Instead of immediately searching for the next storm, I felt a pang of sympathy for the family who lived on the farm whose barn was destroyed by the EF-3. Remembering my military training which emphasized kindness and compassion, I decided to leave them a hefty bag of cash provided to me as a reimbursement by the military. The money was intended to assist the family in rebuilding and recovering from the devastating loss caused by the tornado. With the bag of cash left at the farm and the note attached, I returned to my military truck and shifted the vehicle into gear. I resumed the journey, heading northwesterly on the road, determined to continue the storm chase. As I took a moment to check the radar on the computer, a sense of disappointment washed over me. There were no storms in sight. I had hoped to continue the thrill of the chase, but the sky was clear. The absence of storms on the radar prompted a mix of frustration and uncertainty. Despite the initial disappointment of no storms on the radar, I quickly realized that the absence of storms provided me with an opportunity for a much-needed break. A wave of relief washed over me as I pondered the prospect of taking a moment to grab a meal. The excitement of the chase had left me famished, and the thought of a good dinner was incredibly appealing. As I cruised down the northwesterly road, my stomach rumbled in anticipation of finding a place to satisfy my hunger. The sight of a town up ahead filled me with excitement. The promise of fast food was near. With determination, I drove onward, ready to quench my appetite and take a well-deserved break from the intense storm chase. It became abundantly clear to me that I was absolutely famished, my stomach seemingly echoing with Homer Simpson's insatiable appetite. The thought of devouring massive quantities of food, akin to Homer Simpson himself, became strangely appealing. The rumble in my tummy intensified as I eagerly envisioned a feast so colossal that even Homer Simpson himself would be proud. As the town came into view, I spotted a local fast food establishment. Without hesitation, I pulled my military truck into the drive through ready to satisfy my hunger. The thought of a quick, delicious meal was almost too good to be true. I could practically taste the cheeseburger and feel the crunch of the fries in my mouth as I inched forward in the queue. At the ordering screen, I placed my order with an unusual amount of enthusiasm. The words rolled off my tongue as I confidently listed a rather extensive selection of items, including two chicken burritos, four fries, three chicken wings, four burgers, ten tater toasts, five burgers, five nuggets, four salads, a hot dog, an order of onion rings, a chili dog, some cookies, and a protein shake. The thought of indulging in such an array of food left me both excited and slightly embarrassed. 
As the reality of my order sunk in, I couldn't help but chuckle at the sheer enormity of it. The thought occurred to me that I had just ordered an almost identical feast to the one Homer Simpson had indulged in in that memorable episode. The realization left me both amused and mildly concerned as I wondered if my stomach could even handle such a monumental meal. As I reflected on the sheer volume of food I had just ordered, I knew deep down that there was no way I would be able to finish it all in one sitting. The idea of attempting to consume such a massive meal in one go struck me as both ambitious and slightly absurd. In all likelihood, it would probably take me an entire day to get through it all, and even then, I might feel the effects of my gluttony for days to come. Believed that the cost of my impressive order came to just $20, I found solace in knowing that the salads and protein shake would at least balance out my indulgences somewhat. As I slid my military truck into a parking spot, I began chowing down, enjoying each bite while I sat inside the truck, taking in the sights and sounds of the town. The feeling of contentment from the tasty meal quickly washed away any lingering thoughts of guilt or regret. Feeling pleasantly satisfied after tackling a substantial portion of the meal, I leaned back and took a momentary pause. The absence of storms on the radar allowed me a peaceful reprieve, a chance to relax and unwind for a couple of hours. I found solace in the calmness, knowing that my appetite was temporarily sated, and I was in no rush to jump into the storm chase just yet. The unexpected blaring sound of the computer jolted me back to reality. A sense of anticipation washed over me as I saw the alert triangle blinking urgently on the screen. My eyes darted towards the computer, eager to see what had triggered the alarm at 8 p.m. My heart almost skipped a beat as I focused intently on the radar display. A potent storm system, complete with a supercell, had materialized, and from the looks of it, it was primed to produce an EF-5 tornado, the most devastating and destructive class of Twister known to man. The realization hit me like a ton of bricks as I took in the ominous sight on the computer screen. As I took in the location of the ominous storm system, my heart sank. The road I had taken earlier in the day had led me right back to where the previous EF-3 tornado had wreaked havoc on the farm. And to top it off, nightfall was only adding to the danger. The reduced visibility could make the tornado even more menacing and harder to spot, putting both the farm and the family within even greater peril. My mind raced with thoughts of the potential consequences, and a mixture of worry and determination flooded through me. With a sense of urgency coursing through me, I swiftly pulled out of the fast food restaurant's parking lot and gunned the engine, speeding down the road with a mix of determination and caution. My foot was heavy on the accelerator, pushing the military truck to its limits as it accelerated past 100 miles per hour. The need to reach the farmhouse before the impending tornado struck was paramount, and the only thing on my mind in that moment was warning the family to seek shelter. Each passing second felt like an eternity as I raced against the ticking clock. As the farm came into view, a wave of relief washed over me. However, it was short-lived as I noticed the storm system's unpredictable path. The fact that the storm was further away from the farm and not moving towards it was both a surprise and a stroke of luck. I took a moment to catch my breath and gather my thoughts. My mind was racing with conflicting emotions. Relief that the farm was temporarily out of harm's way, but also concern about the potential destruction the storm could bring elsewhere. The situation remained fluid, and I knew I had to stay vigilant and prepared. It was at that moment that my heart rate spiked as adrenaline coursed through my veins. The thought of the tornado probe kit I had been saving flashed through my mind, and I knew the time had come to put it to use. The thought of placing myself directly in the path of an EF-5 tornado, dropping the probe and then escaping unharmed, was both terrifying and exhilarating. The risks were immense, but the consequences of failing to gather crucial data were even greater. With a mixture of fear and determination, I readied myself for the most dangerous and adrenaline-pumping moment of my tornado-chasing career. I maneuvered the military truck across the road ahead of the storm system, driving as quickly as I could without compromising safety. The thought of my truck's capabilities versus the immense power of an EF-5 tornado was a cause for concern. I knew the truck could withstand weaker tornadoes, but the idea of facing an EF-5 was downright terrifying. 
I felt a mix of exhilaration and dread as I continued to drive towards the path of the monstrous storm, both praying for the best and preparing for the worst. The adrenaline surged through me as I found myself directly in the path of the colossal storm system. The sight of the EF-5 tornado, now fully formed, rapidly moving towards me, left me overwhelmed with a mix of fear and awe. A moment of sheer terror washed over me, but I had to act fast. I fought against my natural instincts to flee and instead focused on the task at hand, knowing that the data I was about to collect could save lives in the future. With a rush of adrenaline, I darted out of the truck and sprinted towards the back, desperate to retrieve the precious tornado probe. Every second counted as the EF-5 tornado continued its menacing approach. The urgency in my movements was palpable as I fumbled with the, with the equipment, hastily unfurling the probe in the midst of the chaos. As the probe was finally yanked loose from its storage, I quickly activated it, my hands trembling slightly with a mix of fear and determination. The instruments attached to the probe whirred to life, indicating that the probe was ready to be deployed. The noise seemed to drown out everything else as I focused on the task at hand, knowing that the data collected would be crucial for both understanding the devastating power of the tornado and helping to improve future safety measures. Despite the imminent danger, I pushed any doubts aside and prepared to drop the probe directly into the path of the EF-5 tornado. In a swift and deliberate motion, I rolled the probe to the side of the road, taking just a few precious seconds to make sure it was secure. With a sense of urgency, I slammed the trunk shut and sprinted back to the truck, my heart racing. Once inside the cabin, I wasted no time in turning the vehicle around, knowing that time was running out. The sight of the EF-5 tornado, its power and intensity now even more apparent, filled my heart with both fear and determination. I had to get away, and fast. As I sped away on the eastbound road, I couldn't help but steal glances at the rearview mirror, my eyes fixed on the probe. The seconds ticked by with agonizing slowness, each passing moment making the danger seem all the more real. After what felt like an eternity, the tornado finally reached the road and its fury struck the probe. I watched in a mixture of awe and horror as the probe, along with its instruments, was lifted into the air by the vortex, capturing vital data about the storm's power and intensity. A wave of relief washed over me as the computer screen lit up in response to the data collected by the tornado probe. Four distinct sections appeared on the display, each outlining the specific parameters being measured by the sensors attached to the probe. The sight was a source of both comfort and excitement, as the data was crucial for understanding the structure and behavior of the tornado. I allowed myself a brief moment of joy, knowing that the information gathered could potentially save lives in future storms. The joy from the successful data collection was quickly shattered as the tornado abruptly shifted its path and began moving northeast towards me. To my dismay, the vortex's growth in width and intensity was alarming, indicating an uptick in its destructive potential. The realization hit me like a ton of bricks as I watched the ominous twister continue its approach, growing bigger and deadlier by the second. The situation had suddenly turned from a moment of victory to one of desperation and I knew that the stakes were higher than ever. My heart sank as I witnessed the tornado's transformation into what seemed like an EF-20 or even a mega tornado, a disaster of unimaginable proportions. The fact that the tornado appeared to have become enraged after picking up the probe and was now moving towards me with unwavering determination only intensified my feeling of helplessness. It was as if the storm had become sentient, its sole purpose to destroy everything in its path, including me. I felt both terrified and small, facing an adversary that seemed almost supernatural in its fury. The sense of urgency pushed me to accelerate the truck even further, reaching a top speed of 100 miles per hour. With the data collection mission completed, my primary focus shifted to getting back home as quickly as possible, putting distance between myself and the monstrous storm system rapidly gaining on me. Every second counted, and I knew that the faster I got home, the safer I would be. I continued my journey on the eastbound avenue road, the wheels of the military truck spinning furiously as I pressed down on the accelerator with dogged determination. The need to put as much distance as possible between myself and the menacing storm system was paramount, and every passing mile felt like a small victory as I drew closer to safety. The sight in my rearview mirror was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. 
The massive tornado was not only closing in on me, but also vacuuming up vast amounts of grass, crops, wheat, and dirt as it pursued me. The sheer power and intensity of the vortex seemed almost superhuman, as if it was hell-bent on catching me no matter what. I tried to keep my focus on the road ahead, knowing that glancing back could be dangerous, but the sight of the growing twister was tough to ignore. Two hours had passed as I continued driving east and the tornado remained persistently behind me. Despite the distance that had elapsed, the storm's relentless pursuit showed no signs of stopping. Exhaustion began to set in as I realized that the sheer resilience of the tornado was testing my own stamina. My mind raced, searching for ways to outmaneuver the menacing vortex. But it seemed as if it was a battle against the elements themselves. Gripping the steering wheel with determination, I navigated the truck onto the northeastern road, which would lead me back to my neighborhood. The closer I got to home, the more reassured I felt, knowing that I was nearing a place of safety. At the same time, the realization that the tornado was still there, trailing me, added an extra layer of tension to the journey. The sight of my neighborhood's familiar streets filled me with both relief and anticipation. As I continued towards my neighborhood, my thoughts began to wander. The image of the colossal tornado devastating the entire town flashed through my mind, leaving an unsettling feeling in my gut. The potential damage and destruction it could cause were staggering. The fact that the twister was still behind me, its size and intensity increasing with each mile, added to the sense of impending doom. I couldn't shake off the feeling that the town's fate was precariously hanging in the balance, and that my presence was attracting danger towards the unsuspecting inhabitants. A glimmer of hope flickered in my mind as I recalled that the government had thoughtfully reinforced the houses in my neighborhood to withstand powerful storms. The sturdy construction meant that the homes were equipped to withstand the force of the tornado, offering a measure of reassurance in the face of such overwhelming danger. The thought that the homes were prepared for the storm brought a sense of relief, even as the monstrous twister continued its relentless pursuit. Glancing back through the rearview mirror, I noticed that the tornado was still moving doggedly towards me, but it had gained some distance. The miles that now separated me from the colossal twister provided a small sliver of comfort, but its relentless determination to catch up continued to stoke a sense of unease. The fact that the storm was still fixated on me, despite the distance, served as a reminder that I was not out of danger just yet. As I continued towards my neighborhood, my thoughts began to wander. The image of the colossal tornado devastating the entire town flashed through my mind, leaving an unsettling feeling in my gut. The potential damage and destruction it could cause were staggering. The fact that the twister was still behind me, its size and intensity increasing with each mile, added to the sense of impending doom. I couldn't shake off the feeling that the town's fate was precariously hanging in the balance, and that my presence was attracting danger towards the unsuspecting inhabitants. A glimmer of hope flickered in my mind as I recalled that the government had thoughtfully reinforced the houses in my neighborhood to withstand powerful storms. The sturdy construction meant that the homes were equipped to withstand the force of the tornado, offering a measure of reassurance in the face of such overwhelming danger. The thought that the homes were prepared for the storm brought a sense of relief, even as the monstrous twister continued its relentless pursuit. Glancing back through the rearview mirror, I noticed that the tornado was still moving doggedly towards me, but it had gained some distance. The miles that now separated me from the colossal twister provided a small sliver of comfort, but its relentless determination to catch up continued to stoke a sense of unease. The fact that the storm was still fixated on me, despite the distance, served as a reminder that I was not out of danger just yet. I quickly pulled into my own driveway, parking the truck and anchoring it down with a sense of urgency. The need to secure the vehicle before the tornado could reach us was paramount. With sweaty palms, I dashed towards the front door of my house, my mind still racing with the terrifying spectacle of the massive storm system heading towards my neighborhood. The thought of the destruction it could cause filled me with anxiety. But I drew some comfort from knowing that the homes in the area were built to withstand strong storms. I hurried upstairs to my bedroom and quickly made my way to the window, eager to catch a glimpse of the massive tornado approaching. My heart pounded in my chest as I leaned against the glass, peering out into the distance. 
sight that greeted me was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. The colossal tornado, now visible on the horizon, was moving menacingly closer, its size and power growing more menacing with every passing moment. The moment I had been dreading arrived as the tornado reached the neighborhood. The storm system struck the town, but much to my relief, the reinforced houses held fast against its forceful onslaught. However, the torrential winds and debris generated by the vortex made it impossible to see anything outside the window, plunging everything into an impenetrable veil of chaos and darkness. T the tension in the air gradually subsided as the tornado moved away from the neighborhood. To my surprise, everything was virtually intact. The reinforced houses had held up against the storm's fury. The neighborhood appeared relatively untouched, save for some fallen branches and minor debris. It was a stark contrast to the devastating destruction I had braced myself for. The rain continued to fall steadily, accompanied by occasional rumbles of thunder. The sound of the rain pattering against the windows was almost soothing after the chaos of the monstrous tornado. With a sigh of relief, I realized that the danger had passed. At least for now. Exhausted, I crawled into bed, my mind still reeling from the events of the day but reassured that the neighborhood had miraculously escaped unscathed. With a weary sigh, I changed into my cozy pajama pants and a comfortable t-shirt, signaling the end of a tumultuous day. Exhaustion washed over me as I slid into bed, my body and mind yearning for rest. The familiar surroundings of my room provided a sense of comfort and security, allowing me to slowly unwind and prepare for sleep. As I settled into bed, a warm sense of accomplishment washed over me. The successful data collection from the tornado was a minor triumph, and I couldn't wait to share the invaluable information with the meteorologists who had sought it. The thought of contributing to a better understanding of the storm's behavior and power filled me with a sense of purpose and satisfaction. Exhaustion slowly overcame me as I closed my eyes, eagerly anticipating the morning when I could analyze the data further and share my findings with the scientific community. 